Daybreak, but what a hectic day. The sheep couldn't have agreed more. At Whitney, near Oxford, the chairman of the Urban District Council checked his watch, and on the stroke of four, the fleece started to fly. In the making were 50 blankets and a record. 150 sheep were denuded of a year's growth of wool. It took 70 minutes, a good start to the shattering of a 63-year-old race against the clock, which produced six blankets from sheep's back to the finished article in just under ten and a half hours. The 1969 attempt was jet age inspired, what might be called high-speed wool. No messing about, every second counted. The raw sheep's clothing started the process which turned it into that knittable stuff. In the trade, they've got some lovely names for the processes. Examples, blending, blowing, carding, spinning, warping, tying on, and many others just as exotic. As the machinery clattered on, so a new record became more of a reality. From those 150 sheep would come 50 blankets. But it was the first six which were of prime importance. Three of them were to be jetted to stores in New York, Paris and Milan, one to a London shop. All of them for window display on the same day. The fifth and sixth to the UK headquarters of the International Wool Secretariat to be the star piece of an exhibition. The export angle was the spur. Everyone knew it. They were well up on the old record established by the same firm, a firm which staged the race on this occasion to mark its 300th anniversary. They'd done it in 8 hours 11 minutes. Now the race was on to catch those planes at London Airport. It had been quite an effort and an all-round victory was in sight. Charles Early, young son of the blanket-making firm chief, handed over the high-speed package. The blankets headed for four cities with warm wishes from Britain.